If you need a passport, you need to act fast. The delays could be four months long and only getting worse. News 3 anchor and problem solver Aaron Miller is looking into the backlog. When I saw how long it was taking people to get their passports, I checked into mine. Turns out it's expired and I'm sure I'm not the only one having this realization. So I looked into what else you need to know. I can tell you that that for a while there was a long backlog uh, for passport renewals and especially for new passport. Right now, the State Department has processing times broken down into a few categories. Regular passport books will take between 10 to 13 weeks and cost at least $130. Expedited will take between seven and nine weeks plus an extra $60. There's also urgent travel for people traveling internationally within nine weeks and an emergency life or death situation where you have to travel within 72 hours. Keep in mind, the State Department says these processing times don't include mail time, so it could be longer in some cases. In March, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said there's unprecedented demand for passports. Uh, we're getting 500,000 applications a week for a passport. Uh, that's 30 to 40 percent above last year. So it's it's dramatic. I also spoke with Kevin Brassler of Consumers Checkbook. He warned that you may need to get your passport renewed even if it expires within six months. I've seen people at the ticket counter very upset that their passport, which isn't going to expire for a few months, uh, nonetheless, they weren't allowed to travel because it was going to expire within that tourist visa window. Even though they were only going to be there for a week, no, that wasn't good enough. Brassler says to check the country's requirements before booking. By the way, if you applied in person or renewed by mail, you can check your application status online, but those results might not be available in the first two weeks. The State Department says that they've added more staff to keep up with the uptick, open satellite offices, and authorized overtime. So I guess now it's time for me to add my name to the pile. In Norfolk, Aaron Miller, News 3.